a cooperative effort between the South Dakota Game, Fish, and Parks and the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources could result in the return of a large prehistoric fish that once roamed the border waters of Big Stone Lake. We talked with Chris Domeyer, who is one of the assistant managers at the DNR Fisheries Office in Ortonville. Chris told us that Norm Haukes, retired fisheries manager, was one of the folks who was instrumental in getting the sturgeon back into Big Stone Lake. The day has arrived. Last week we got a call, late last week, from uh, Genoa National Fish, Fish Hatchery. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service was raising these fish all summer. They, uh, Norm went out and helped take the eggs this spring. The Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources obtained the eggs from fish in the Wisconsin River. Minnesota and South Dakota, along with the citizens, for Big Stone Lake partnered in the cost of the fish. Uh, Wisconsin DNR graciously uh, did the egg take, so it's been a pretty good partnership. And they've been uh, raising them, feeding them, taking care of them over Genoa, which is down by La Crosse, you know, southeast of the city's away, south, uh, kind of across the river from Win- Winona, a little bit south of that yet. And they called and said, the sturgeon are ready. We would like you folks to come next week and get them. So Jeff uh, Malzahn, one of our technicians, is with a uh, load of a 4,000 little baby uh, lake sturgeon. And we will be getting them into the lake. Historically, Big Stone Lake had a wild lake sturgeon population, but the last known fish washed up on the shore in 1946. The large fish is native to the Minnesota River drainage and the Missouri River in South Dakota. The two state agencies are coordinating a project to release 4,000 tagged lake sturgeon fingerlings into the 12,610-acre lake. The project plan calls for repeated stockings of 4,000 fish per year for up to 20 years. Our hope is getting them back into the lake, and this will be done uh, uh, you know, for up to 20 years to get them reintroduced, um, you know, uh, stocking each year to get that many year classes and enough fish out there. Our hope is that they do develop a self-sustaining population that does spawn in the system. And uh, only time will tell. It takes a long time. They don't mature until they're in their 20s. So this is a long process. Um, If I'm fortunate, I'll still be around to finally, you know, hopefully see uh, people that follow me sampling young of the year fish that are natural at some point. So that's the whole goal, but it's it's a very long process, obviously. The sturgeon that are being introduced back into Big Stone Lake do not pose a threat to other fish in the water. In fact, they will help improve the water quality of the lake because they are cleanup artists. You got to look at the big picture. We want to have diversified, healthy fisheries, and these are being reintroduced not just to provide, you know, diverse in the system, but also for future fishing. They are a fishable species. Um, there's a tremendous recreational fishery up in Lake of the Woods um, for this, this fish. So we're looking at diversity, diversifying our fishery and the, you know, the ecological health of the whole system. So it's kind of a multifaceted thing. While only five inches long at the time of stocking, Lake Sturgeon can exceed 100 years in age and 300 pounds in weight. Lake sturgeon feed on a variety of insect larvae, crayfish, and mollusks. One person who was not in attendance at the release of the fish at Hartford Beach State Park on September 18th was retired fisheries manager Norm Haukes. Norm played such a key role in bringing the sturgeon back to the Big Stone Lake area. The ultimate goal in this stocking is to restore a historic fishery and a potential angling season could be established in the future.